Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I've got a very special, special review for you. Yes, so we've got a very special review for you guys today. This is my cat Sparky. We're not reviewing him today, he just came in the room. This is Sparky. He's a good boy. But now today we're going to be taking a look at the Jurassic World Dominion Malta Escape set that includes Owen, Red, Panthera, and the Juvenile Carnotaurus. So without a further ado, let us get into this awesome and crazy Jurassic Park review. Alright, we're gonna ignore my uh, ugly reflection. This is the Jurassic World Dominion Owen Escape Pack. This pack retails for $30, and I'd say probably worth it. You got the Owen Grady up here, he's pretty cool. This is Blue Shirt Owen, pretty easy figure to get. But if you want another Blue Shirt Owen, there you go. He's got a cool little dirt bike like he rides in the movie. You've got the Juvenile Carnotaurus. It's a lot smaller than the other Carnotaurus we've gotten. And we've got Atrociraptor Panthera. And I believe this is Atrociraptor Red. It could be Tiger, I'm not sure. But it's an Atrociraptor. You also get the knife and a helmet. Box, you got the T-Rex logo, Dress Code Dominion, Owen Escape Pack, Mattel, got UPC code. At the top it says, Owen Escape Pack. On the sides, you got the Pyroraptor render like we're used to. On the back, you got everything included rendered out for you. Got the Atrociraptors and the Carnotaurus, and it says utility tool included because they won't call it a knife. And then the Dominion logo on the side. And then the underside, legal jargon, UPC code. This is a nice premium feeling set and it should be fun for children of all ages, especially us adult collectors. So, without further ado, let's get this thing out of the box. Alright, this is everything you're going to get for your 30 United States dollars. You get two Atrociraptors, a Carnotaurus, Owen Grady, two accessories, and a dirt bike. So, I'd say it's a pretty good price point. This Owen is not exclusive to this set. He also appears in the Owen and Beta story pack. So a bit of a bummer, an exclusive Owen would have been nice. But I understand. Um... The other figures, Panthera right now, at least I think it's Panthera, is exclusive to this set. Red, I think this one is red, it has shown up in a couple other places, but is not out yet. And this young Carnotaurus is also exclusive to this set. So let's start by taking a look at Owen. This is Owen, uh, Chris Pratt. Likeness is okay. He's got all the basic human figure articulation where his knees move. His arms will move. He's got a little spot back here for his utility tool. The utility tool is this little knife here. And it will slide in just like that. Also comes with this helmet because we got to promote motorcycle safety kids. This is the exact same helmet that came with the Walmart exclusive uh, much set. But it's in black. And this helmet will easily just go over good old Christopher Pratt's head. Like so. So he can be protected on his motorcycle. Which, I mean, I'm all for promoting motorcycle safety to children. So yeah, if you give the helmet to Owen, it does make it a bit more exclusive. So that's Owen. Here's the dirt bike. Um feels a bit 
cheap and plasticky, but then again, it's kind of lightweight so kids can, you know, drive it around. It's got a kickstand, you can really push that up. So Owen can ride the motorcycle and do all his cool tricks. So he can go on there and motorcycle away from all the dinosaurs in this set. He does sit on there, okay. I'm not too worried about the way he's posed. Dinosaurs, that's what people care about. We get two Atrociraptors in this set. This is a Atrociraptor Red or Tiger, I don't know. The movie's not out. I'm gonna go with Red, because it's Red. I'd assume Tiger would be orange and have black stripes. So this is the Atrociraptor. It's the same mold as the Atrociraptor that came in the set with Sonia Santos. It's a pretty nice mold. It's quite bulky. The other side. Oh, oh. So yeah, it's an Atrociraptor. Uh, new species for Jurassic. It's pretty cool. It's got all the base articulation, the mouth will close, and its head is on a ball joint. So you can move it up and down, and around. Arms will move up and down, as well as the legs. Scan code, right there. You want to scan it into the Jurassic World Facts app. This figure is not exclusive to this set. Next to Trusseraptor, this is, I believe, Panthera is exclusive to this set as of now. It's kind of early in Dominion's toy life cycle, so we may get another. This is a new pose, it's crouching pose. A lot of people don't like the crouching pose, like the crouching raptor pose is considered awful, but I like this one. You can actually get a lot more uh, mileage out of it because of the ball joint in the head, so you can make it like be upwards or hunched over more. It's a nice little raptor. It's got the same basic articulation as the other Atrociraptor in this set. Paint job is nice. It's got a nice painted eye. No painted claws, but it's nice. Forgot to mention, tail does rotate. And for the scan code, pull up and scan. Last, but certainly not least, is this juvenile Carnotaurus. This Carnotaurus is missing a horn, as you can see. He's been through some stuff. Yeah, he's got a missing horn. It's pretty cool. Um, he's small, like, small little guy, but he's got the same base articulation, his jaw will close, his head will move on a ball joint, so to go down, go up, you can look left to right, turn around, pretty cool, arms will move forward and backwards, the little stubby arms, as well as out. The legs will move. They also move out a bit. And the tail also moves. And then, for all of those participating in the Jurassic World facts, scan code is up here. You can scan him into your Jurassic World facts app. So overall, a pretty good set for its price value. Let's do some comparisons. Right, so here's our first comparison of Owens on motorcycles. And from a first glance, you would not be able to tell much of a difference between these two, other than the motorcycles. The Owens are nearly identical. It's just this is the newer Owen body. It's got different chest and different legs. You can kind of maybe pick it up on camera, like the shoes are lighter. The helmets are different colors. This motorcycle is a lot more similar to his motorcycle in uh, Jurassic World. It's got this kind of bulky front, and it's got a little slot for the shotgun. But it's a pretty cool... This was a Walmart exclusive set. And then the dirt bike, you know, is quite obviously a different color. 
It does look very good though. Owen looks a bit more awkward on this motorcycle, but that may just be the way I've got him posed. So, I don't know. Overall, I, I like this older set, this motorcycle better. I've also had it for several years. This set may grow on me, but right now the original motorcycle set is winning. As far as crouching raptors go, this is the crouching velociraptor. This is actually the 2021 San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, Ray Arnold's Final Moments set velociraptor. Don't worry, I have another one in the box. So, like I said, the crouching raptor pose is not a favorite of many people, but this new Atrociraptor version is a lot better just because of the ball joint in the neck. Uh, this one's kind of stuck in this pose. You can do some different things with this one like he's up yelling at Owen or something he's a pretty cool guy but yeah that's the crouching atrociraptor here's the atrociraptor compared to the velociraptor uh the atrociraptor is a lot bulkier and bigger compared to this velociraptor i honestly like the atrociraptor mold a lot more it looks a lot more menacing and evil i mean the velociraptor has a special place in my heart but this atrociraptor looks like it means business so yeah. And here's the Carnotaurus compared to some of the other Carnotaurus Mattel's released. I do have Toro, but he's on a shelf in a kind of a rough spot. So I just grabbed the regular Control and Conquer. As you can see, it is substantially smaller than the other Carnotaurus, but it's a juvenile. It's, a, it's supposed to be younger. I like this new kind of baby juvenile dinosaurs they're going for. They've done quite a few babies with the new Dominion line. But, these Carnotaurs, this one has a button that you can press that it'll chomp. Troll and Conquer Carnotaurus is electronic. So, yeah. I like this little guy though. He's cute. And we don't get enough cute things out of Mattel. So, yeah. That's the little Carno. Alrighty, folks, that's going to be about it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do put effort into these videos. I know it may not seem like it, but I do. So hopefully you can repay my efforts with a like, a comment, and a subscription to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Jurassic Park review. Hope you all have a great day, a great evening. See you in the next one. Peace out.